The video you're about to see was recorded in early June 2021 at the Willow Springs Campground at the Embassy RV customer event. This is not a paid video by Embassy RV, but rather it is a tour of Bob and Susan's Embassy RV Traveler Duo rig based on a Ford Transit chassis. Let's jump into it. So another special treat for you. So can't leave the Embassy RV Campout weekend without bringing you through a traveler duo with this awesome couple, Susan and Bob. And let me tell you, they are the coolest people, um, like every Embassy RV owner is. <laughs> um, so maybe just kind of tell us what's uh, interested in a van. And thanks again for sharing your, your, your van with us. I know you guys have nothing else to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I'll hand you the microphone and... Uh, just, why a van? Let's start there. Why a van? Freedom. Well, yeah, freedom to go wherever we want, and you know Depart. they're small, they're nimble, they're yeah. You can go anywhere, just about. So. Watch Scott's channel; he'll take you there <laughs> with him. It's easy to drive, and uh, oh, very easy to drive. And how uh, how'd you find Embassy? Through you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> go small, um, live large. There you go. And why, what interested you in Embassy? The innovations. It, and the build quality, I mean, just everything. That there's marine grade plastic, there's no mold, there's, you know, no propane, there's no black tank. Just everything is so well done, yeah. well put together. And we know that Terry stands behind everything. And at these meetups, you meet the owner and you get to talk to the owner himself. It's not like you're going through a salesman. So. There's a problem, it's taken care of on the spot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, this is, uh, again, the Traveler Duo uh, floor plan, which started as a customer request that Terry kind of got excited about. Yep. And you were one of the benefactors of that. How long have you had your van now? <laughs> About a million years or about two yeah. Five weeks, maybe. Five weeks. That's so it. <laughs> you're kind of new to this whole thing. Have yes. you had an RV before, this first RV? Yes. Yeah, first well, one. We started his parents out had one, up. and we had a pop-up, and we tent camped all the way across the United States. Yeah, these guys have a story. In fact, we're, we'll share, you have a, like an Instagram or a webpage about your bike yes. stories. They actually yeah. rode bikes across the US, United States. From coast to coast. I'm having a hard time driving my van from coast to coast. <laughs> and these guys did it on bikes. That is just so amazing. <laughs> so crazy. Um, mind give us a tour? No, yeah, that's, that's cool. great. Okay, let's do it. So again, it's on the Ford Transit chassis, so it's very tall up here. And I'm very short. And you're very yes. short. It makes us even more um, <laughs> spacious. But um, so if the chairs turn around, right, Bob? Yeah, absolutely. Them? They flip around. Does that one turn around too? Yes. yes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, fantastic. And so then tell us about this. So this is a bed. A yes, I can show you. Uh, telescoping. Telescoping. Yeah. It comes out. You might have to move yeah, your feet. Yeah. It pulls out. And, and then there's cushions. It comes all the way out, and this makes into another bed. And that is fantastic. So it's it's human powered, not. Uh, Machine power, but Correct. really easy, obviously. Exactly. And There's a lagoon table yep. that attaches there. That's and we've marvelous. actually had five people around it. One, two, three, four, and I was sitting here, five. That's amazing. Now, what size do you think this is? Probably four by six? Probably. Close. Yeah, close, right? Yeah. About. The full width of the van. Correct. Um, and really open space here? You like that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So this is kind of like the living room, great room. Cabinetry, tell us about that. Um, well, this is all that marine grade plastic, and you just pop it and it comes open. So it looks like, uh, um, and these are the these vents. These have locks. Yep. Locks, oh, yeah. that's interesting. Okay, that's cool. And these are vents to cross bring, bring, yes. bring cross burn elevation. Yeah. This side is in, that side is out. Oh, Because he didn't works. want the fumes mm -hmm. on the inside. So, oh, yeah. yeah, this is, so in. passenger is in. Out. Driver is out. for vehicles running. Yes. Um, and the windows don't open. Correct. And how's that working for you? Okay. You kind of I, I like the breeze. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but it is beautifully panoramic, though, yes. isn't it? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Look, there's Lily. Ooh, there's Lily. Look at that. There she is. Lily looking good from across the street. <laughs> yeah. And the TV is kind of a nice size and a cool position, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, it'll go outside. It can swing mm. around. Yeah. 
So again, you can kind of make so and when you a... pull this out and have the table, the table could be outside, and the TV could be outside. Right. Yeah. They could make this like a like a Netflix marathon, um, <laughs> like a watch movies, right? Pretty yeah, cool. Exactly. Yeah. Um, exactly. And these are the fan controls. Yep. Yes. That's cool. Um, how about your? Where are you standing? That is the bathroom. And Correct. Shower. And shower. So here's the. Actually, we get to see oh, the drains here. here. Yep. Which is really nice. So again, kind of a different approach. Um, sink. And well, the sink's behind you. This is sink the is behind me. Yes. Which one do you have? The Labio. Labio. Yeah, okay, great. Yep. Yeah, which is pretty great. We actually got to see the inside of his. It was kind of funny. So, <laughs> like a big jiffy pop. I'm like, is it, how long is that taking to get used to that? <laughs> not long. <laughs> it's not long. Um, love the mirror. Yes, it comes the, out however you. Yeah, that's so cool, right? Pushes back. Then. And then the yeah. water source for the shower is. Right here. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And then it pulls out. We don't have a hook in yet. Oh, that's it's fine. but yeah, that's fine. we're going to put a hook up okay, there. I got you. Oh, that's cool. And we actually want to get an extender so we can, it, it reaches just outside, but mm -hmm. we have dogs and we'd like to have it so we could wash their paws off. That's a good idea. So. Thanks for that. Um, and the cab, uh, wardrobe? Assuming? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's two latches, one in the below. Yes. They kind of kick with your foot i've noticed every owner does yep. yes um which is pretty easy so you have to bend down and this just opens up and then the soft right. clothes and then yep hanging. soft clothes drawers okay that's great yeah pretty to... spacious for a shower though right yes i mean this is yes a lot of yes sorry guys there you go. Yeah. there's bob <laughs> I'm demonstrating the nothing there I'm <laughs> all right this is kind of interesting uh galley tell us about this microwave microwave yep full okay. size convection no, no, not convection. Okay. No worries. Um, really in there tight. So, and this thing is for the yes. water. Yes. So you can see your water tank. Water tank, how full it is. Mm-hmm. Which is under that front. Under the front. Seat. Yes, there it's there. under there. And all the plumbing right. side lines are inside. Yeah. Right? Yep. And okay. then that just shows you how full or empty it is. Okay. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Looks like an alien something or other. <laughs> so again. Um, Cooktop, uh, you oh, we induction? have an induction, induction yes, cooktop. it's okay. in the closet. That's there. Fine. That's fine. Induction cooktop, yep, and residential sink and faucet, which is amazing, yeah, right? um, yeah. I mean, it's pretty deep. I mean, did you look in his? Or? Yeah, it's uh, okay, it's cool. Um, yeah, it's I like the white, yes, um, and yours is a little different because it doesn't have that lip. Um, he's... Right, because this was the first one. This isn't the Corian. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is the marine, marine grade, grade plastic. Yeah. Okay, I got you. He said we could get the Corian if added if we want. Okay. This will never make a stain. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. stain. it's just, it's pretty amazing. It's amazing. Tons of storage down here. Mm -hmm. Same fridge. And we learned from Greg's unit that these are separately controlled. So it could be fridge, 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 freezer, fridge, off. Yep. Which yes. Which is pretty. Or you can go freezer, freezer. Freezer, freezer. Yes. Oh, I did not. That's what Terry does when he catches a lot of fish. Uh, he makes them both into freezers to yeah. bring his fish home. That's He's amazing, isn't he? Yes, and this is a storage. This is the tables. table right okay. here. Sure. That's and so great. Uh, yeah. And you got the bifold doors like uh, yes. we've seen before, so that was yep. great. And the bed. So this was the big deal back here, <laughs> yes. right? So uh, about a four by six foot bed. Yes. And this sleeps crosswise. Yep. Yep. And the magic. Look at this view. This is like what I have when I open it. Yes. Long, which is so nice, right? But this yes. is the magic yep. spot right here. And the doghouse. And the doghouse. The There's dog Bob. Storage, right? There's Bob. There it is. <laughs> yeah. We're so, in trouble. what interested you in this type of floor plan versus the, the traveler? Is it the what? bed, the storage? Uh, you make your lists, what your first preferences are. My first preference was I never wanted to have a puzzle bed where you had to make it every night. I wanted a bed, bed. that I could leave. And then we can make that into a bed or we can move this. Yeah. This comes out. Uh, we put his bike in here. You can slide stuff all the way through. And I just like that idea. It's so nice. That the bed is there, or I don't have to make it every night. Yeah. Or we can move it if we want. And it really feels pretty spacious, even with the bed down. Some of you don't. Yeah. Um, and it, it's amazing because Terry's been able to, you know, Embassy RV, is um, been able to do the U-shaped cabinetry that mm -hmm. I've seen in a lot of these types of rigs, but the cabinets are really in the way for some reason. Not the case here. I'm really kind of surprised. Um, maybe because they're a little bit narrower on top. I'm squeezing like yeah. this. But um, this doesn't feel cramped at all. And you can probably walk through without banging your head too badly. And you got outlets oh. up here, speakers. Oh, yes. Uh, the fan vents again right here, right? And I'm short enough, if the bed's out, I can actually walk under that and not even hit my head. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. <laughs>
That is pretty cool. Wow, such a great, such a great rig. And the stereo system is JBL and it's Bluetooth, so you can put up your favorite tunes through your phone, or you can put it through the TV. Isn't that great? That's awesome. And yeah, you can get a Blu-ray player right here, and that's excellent. That's we awesome. have not used that yet. That is so cool. No, we did. We watched Gilligan's Island. So. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it was fun. Well, thank you again for sharing your, your <laughs> awesome van, and congratulations, five weeks in. And There we go. And this guy's a million-dollar man, Miracle <laughs> Standard, right here. Hey. And, and what a great cheerleader, <laughs> or as a drill <laughs> sergeant, <laughs> keeping him going. That's Some of the right. stories we've heard today. Oh, my gosh, this weekend. Just so great. So thank you very much. And um, websites, how would they find out about, do you guys have websites? Or um, our blog was blog, yeah. that we did across the U.S. was brewbikers.com. Yeah. So B-R-U? B-I-K-E-R-S dot com. Because our last name is Brew Baker. So we sense. changed a letter. There we go. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you again. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Great. tour of your, your band. Do you have a name for it? Brew Bikers. Brew Bikers. So we see your shirt. We know you guys have crossed the USA in a bike. Maybe just tell us a little bit about that experience and how that it was important to have your bikes in the rig. So yes, we rode our bicycles across the United States. It had been a dream of ours and 
he had had a stroke and cancer and we decided to do it in different segments over multiple summers and uh, we did it on trikes and it was an absolutely amazing experience but yes we were in a tent for 4,000 miles so this is Not amazing anymore. absolutely amazing yeah. that you know we can take our bikes have them inside and still go and we're hoping to uh, help cyclists go retrace our steps see all these people that took us in um, hand out you know water along the route bananas yeah, bananas, bananas along <laughs> the route and just help others and if they have you know we'll have a uh, tire pump and just help cyclists along that because so many people helped us it was amazing absolutely it's a wonderful country so yeah. call Terry and Get your RV and get started today. <laughs> yeah, don't wait because you just never know, right? Go anywhere. Exactly. And there's been a few couples here that have come on the edge and said, well, we're going to wait for this amount of time. And everybody's, the owners have said, get your butt in a van. That's right. You just never know. And I love your attitude of helping people um, yeah. through the experience you had. Mm -hmm. That is just so great. Um,